Three shots, man. Free little real, man. Get the Get all my dogs out of the pen, man. We ain't playing with that no more, man. Let's go. All right, hey guys, we're back again. First question Do you think the Queen of England is immortal? Why or why not? Um, yes. Definitely yes. And I think because she's been alive for this long, she's, she's not going to die. Exactly. She's been alive for so long, and she ain't dying anytime soon. Probably never, actually, if you think about it. All right, those are some good answers. Nah. Okay, why? Uh, I don't know. I don't really mess with them, so I'm guessing they mortal. I don't like the British either, so I feel that. Nah, she might die soon too, but cause she old. Um, I mean, yeah, she she looks really old, so I don't know. I actually don't know how old she is, but she looks really old. I don't know either, but she's really old. Yes, I think she's immortal. I think she's like what 103 something like that she's really old yeah she's like not even close to like dying or anything she looks like pretty uh pretty crisp that's what i'm saying definitely yes um why because well she's lasted this long absolutely she absorbed the essence of that prince that died and so she's forever she, she will never die no we got some serious allegations going on up in the student surveys um, I'd have to say it's inconclusive. Is the Queen of England immortal? Why or why not? Yes, because she is demortaled. <laughs> no, because uh, I feel like they're all different people. No, because she's a girl and she's a human. Okay, we got some conflicting opinions. Um, I mean, I hope she's not because I think it'll be funny once... When she what? Can you finish that sentence? She goes when she's gone. When she's away, okay? No, I don't think that's funny. <laughs> I think she's immortal. I hope she is. Uh, I think she is because my mom said that she never was not there in her lifetime. So she has to have been living forever. No other way. I don't think the Queen of England is real. I've never seen her, so... That's what I'm saying. Um, no. E e yeah, everyone's gonna die eventually. I'm sorry, Kate. Forever, <laughs> <laughs> ever talking. Um, I would say yes because one time I had this dream where she was like living in my dream, but it was like prehistoric times with the dinosaurs, right? She was there. Then it was like robot future, like Tomorrowland, and she was also there. If she was there and she's immortal and you were there, does that mean you're immortal? It was just my dream. What's a word that you think should be used more? Catastrophe. I feel like, I feel like people just need to use that word. No one does. That's a good word. I like that answer. Captain. Honey, no. Anything, really. Exquisite. Honestly. Uh... Okay, um, well, people say literally a lot, and they say uh, legitimately a lot, so just put them together. Say, like, legitimately, or legitimately, legitimately, that word. I like that. Uh, come back to me, come back to me. Oh, my gosh. Popsicle. <laughs> Jumping. Onomatopoeia. Those are some good answers. Flox and ox and hillipillificated. Expeditiously. Please and thank you. Oof, that's a good answer. Infallible. Moist. It's a pretty big word over here. It's too many syllables for my taste, but I can get with it. Delicious. Um, oh God. Um, let's say sarsaparilla. I think it's a soda, but I don't know. It's fun. I don't know what that is either, but that is a fun word. All right, next question. What's the most annoying color? Green. Purple. Well, that's a bad answer, bro. Purple's the best color. Okay. All right, we got, we got to move on. We can't get too wrapped up in the controversy up here. This is student service. What's the most annoying color? Orange. I agree with orange. Okay. Uh, um, bright orange. Some sort of green, probably. Like poop green or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, green. that green. Like barf green. But, like, it has to be a teacher handing you a paper that's barf green. If you know what I mean. No? I know what you're saying. Yellow. It'd be too bright. Orange. 
I don't like the color orange. There's some good answers. All right, what's the most annoying color? Orange. Mmm. Uh, gotta go with purple. Yellow. We got a lot of purple haters today, man. I don't know what's going on. What's the most annoying color? Probably like, I don't know, like orange, like a UT orange, maybe. I don't really like beige, you know. It seems like kind of bland. I don't really like beige. Definitely teal. Um, yellow. Oh, that, I don't know. Come back to me. Whatever like this color of blonde is, I would say is the most annoying and color. This color's pretty <laughs> bad too. Actually, this like light brown, oh, the elevator's moving. All right guys, we gotta speed this up. It's 2024. You open up your ballot and there's only two names on it. Joe Exotic and Kanye West. Who do you vote for and why? Um, Joseph Exotic. Jo yeah, Joe Exotic. Why? Um, oh. Maybe he would like do more for the the, the queer community. Um, neither. I'm gonna I'm gonna write in uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Kanye West. He's got everybody in the palm of his hand. That is true. And Kanye West, just one of the greatest mans alive currently, man. He makes, he makes great music, and you just can't beat him, honestly. Probably ye. Kanye West. All right, those are some good picks. Uh, I'm going, I'm going for, uh, for Yee. You know, I just think he's really interesting. And, um, Joe Exotic, I just, he's a bit crazy. It's 2024 and you get your ballot and there are two, only two options on it. Joe Exotic and Kanye West. Who do you vote for and why? Immediately, no. No vote? No. Kanye West. Um, because... I think he might be slightly less crazy than Joe Exotic. I say Kanye West. I like the Yeezys. I'm crossing them out. I'm voting for my boy Rico. Shout out Kanye. <laughs> uh, I'm voting for Kanye West. Kanye West. He gonna blow up the rap game in 2020. Let's do it. Uh, Kanye because... Uh... <laughs> I don't know, he's West. Uh, can I just like do both of them? Is that, cause like, what if they're both exotic and they're both in the West? I hadn't even thought about that. Well, I guess you can. I'd vote for both of them then. Kanye, or no, Joe Exotic West, or yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. All right, good answer. All right, it's 2024. You open up your presidential ballot. There's only two names, Joe Exotic and Kanye West. Who do you vote for and why? Um, I'd have to say Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Joe Exotic? No, I'm just kidding. Um, that was a funny... Oh, we have to hurry. Um, Kanye West. Um, I would write in... My dog, Louie. He's such a good boy. All right, last question. Who are the top three men of all time? Uh, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, and Michael Scott. Uh, obviously, we've got Kanye West, Michael Jackson, and uh, let's go with Joe Biden. Woo, some good men. This is a really difficult question. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to go with, uh, mm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with my boyfriend three times. Okay. Will Smith, uh, Kanye West, and, uh, probably like my dad. Uh, Barack Obama, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and Hard Rock Nick. Big rock fan over here. Okay. My childhood best friend, Alex my dad and your dad i like my dad too all right last question who are the top three men of all time um what's his name it's like the guy who does the young mama videos i think it's i think it's brody fox maybe oh yeah brody fox uh dwayne johnson and john cena uh me myself 
and I, and my friend. Even though that's four, but me, myself, and I, and my friend. Danny DeVito. Um, uh, uh, Don Cheadle. Um, 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 uh, Kevin Hart. Such a good answer. Conan O'Brien, Barack Obama, and Nelson Mandela. Who are the top three men of all time? Uh, Zac Efron, Harry Styles, and myself. Um, Michael B. Jordan, Mr. Haney, and uh, <laughs> Barack Obama. Drake, Lil Baby. Wait, wait. Drake, Lil Baby, and George Washington. All right, last question. Who are the top three men of all time? Top three men? You got Jesus. Uh, probably, probably Kanye West as well. And then maybe like, I don't know, Philip Lavelle. Yeah. All right, last question. Who are the top three men of all time? Pause. Um... Probably Michael Jordan, um, LeBron James, and um, Kanye West. All right, so look, you gotta have at least Gregatron number one, then like maybe Michael Jordan number two, and then probably we're gonna get another ball, dude. Let's go, Kobe Bean Bryant. We're gonna get another ball, dude. Let's go, Kobe Bean Bryant.